So that's the real world that you live in. Now, part of the, the thing, too, was to bring people down population-wise. And it's, it's quite amazing when you go into the writings of those in the know. Now, there's an odd article here that came out in Old Thinker News. And it's from Thursday, August the 19th, 2010. And it's called The Age of Treason. A 1958 book exposes chemical attack on humanity. Uh, by Daniel Taylor, and it goes into Dr. Swinburne Clymer. Now, I think that's maybe the same Swinburne Clymer that was the head of the Rosicrucian Society uh, and the Philosophical Society. But uh, it's interesting. Here is an article. It says, uh, Dr. Swinburne Clymer was in many ways a man ahead of his time, most certainly controversial. He was attacked by the medical establishment for connecting diet with disease and mental health in his 1917 book called Dietetics, not Dianetics like the other ones, but Dietetics. And then it goes into what he actually said. He said in his 1958 book, Your Health and Sanity in the Age of Treason, he was exposing toxic food additives and fluoride with documentation, the majority of which are mainstream scientific studies today. Uh, that can be verified many times over. What makes this book unique is the fact that Dr. Clymer was one of the first to point out the, that statements by the elite uh, indicated that these toxins were to be deliberately released from the mental deterioration and moral debasement of the masses. So he was the first to point out it was all intentional, and he used statements that came from the elite themselves, no doubt like, like Charles Galton Darwin, who put his own book out in 1950, but the same year actually, same, same uh, decade anyway, the 1950s. The book is appropriately called Food and Liquids Used as a Medium in Deliberately and Carefully Planned Methods Developed by the Vicious Elements of Humanity for the Mental Deterioration and Moral Debasement of the Mass as a Means Towards Their Enslavement. That was the name of the book. He introduces readers with a stark warning for the future, writing, Imagine yourself, if you can, becoming conscious that you are gradually losing your manhood. He's talking about sterility, folks. That your mind is rapidly deteriorating, and boy, you look at the Alzheimer's today, earlier and earlier and earlier, so that you're no longer capable of thinking clearly, unable to plan your future actions. Your resistance is becoming so weakened that you're no longer master of yourself. In short, you're rapidly developing into a moron, a robot, a zombie, readily subject to the dictates of others. Bertrand Russell's 1953 book, The Impact of Science and Society, is cited by Clymer as one of the examples of the elite's desire to dominate the masses. Russell stated that under scientific tyranny, diet, and I've read this so many times on the air, Diet, injections, and injunctions will combine from a very early age to produce the sort of character and the sort of beliefs that the authorities consider desirable, and any serious criticism of the powers that be will become psychologically impossible. It says here, now here's where Clymer was dead on, diethyl bistral, endocrine disruption. Dr. Clymer identified the synthetic estrogen, Diethylstilbestrol, and I've mentioned this on and on and on over the years, developed in 1938, but actually had bisphenol A A in the late 1800s. It says, as a means to achieve the aims of the elite, Clymer explains that some of the toxic additives discussed in the book may not have been employed for the express purpose outlined by the elite, but they served their purpose admirably. And he goes on to say that the employment of stilbestrol by the laity with absolutely no knowledge of the dangerous agent they were employing in conditioning chickens and meats in mass medic- is mass medication without license. In other words, if you want to infect the food chain, just put it in the cattle, put it in the chicken, you eat the cow, you eat the chicken, and you end up with the stilbestrol. It says it's mass medication without license with a dangerous toxic drug that may have universal disastrous results on all who eat such unadulterated foods. This is especially true as it concerns chickens, youths, young women and men, resulting as it may in their sterilization or cancer, something fervently hoped for by the enemies of mankind. Because stilbestrol is a synthetic chemical, the natural protective activity of the bodily organs are ineffective in prohibiting harmful results. 
natural estrogen, on the other hand, is decomposed and any of its possible harmful effects may be more or less made ineffective, writes Dr. Clymer. Stolbestrol was used as a treatment for various types of cancer and menopausal symptoms, but as Dr. Clymer states, physicians versus, uh, versed in the use of endocrines agreed generally that Stolbestrol is a dangerous drug in all except experienced hands. By the way, that's what they give to a lot of um, uh, sexual perverts who've, who've uh, attacked people. As that, that was a regular therapy, was giving them Stolbestrol. It's a Dr. E. Malcolm Stokes in an article published in the Western Journal of Surgery, Obstetrics and Gynecology, September 1948, wrote, Single large doses of natural estrogen substance are quickly excreted. Long continued repeated administration in relatively small doses, as in daily consumption of meats permeated with stilbestrol, may ident- intensify tissue response to the hormone. Dr. Clymer warns that such chemicals are to feminize men. That's the purpose of them, folks. He says, Every vigilant human being should be concerned with several important factors involved. The methods or means by which it is impossible to change man's characteristics as easily as the animals. Man is a warrior by nature, the protector of his family and his own rights and privileges, an individual, a free man, a being who has wrought great things to, to and who, if not interfered with, will do even greater things. This being is to be turned into a lesser female, unable, even unwilling, to defend himself, much less his family or country, becoming a slave. And that is a fact, because they talked about using these weapons of artificially created uh, estrogens in, in the early 1900s. There's no doubt about that. I've got stuff in the library here at home about it, in fact. Uh, they would take away their ag- aggressivity, they said, and they wouldn't fight. They'd be unable to fight, wouldn't care. Uh, also, they also knew they would create far greater homosexuality too, as the men would turn, or what was left of them would turn to each other. And we see that today. Dr. Clymer's concerns over stilbestrol have been vindicated over time as the chemical has been phased out of use as a growth hormone in the late 1970s due to concerns over cancer. Additionally, in 1971, the FDA advised physicians to stop prescribing stolbestrol to pregnant women uh, due to high cancer risk. The drug is no longer being manufactured as of 1997. But by the way, isn't that amazing too? It was about the same time they started pushing in uh, the plastic bottles and water and plastic bottles until every yuppie walked around the shape like the letter T with its arm stuck out with a bottle of plastic a plastic bottle holding the water, the soft plastic too, just exuding um, bisphenol A, which is pretty well, just as good if not better than Silvestro. Amazing, isn't it? So, anyway, that's an article from a, an odd source, source, but he certainly was right on. It was meant for warfare purposes. I've mentioned before about the many techniques they sit in at warfare colleges talking about war, it's not just straight out forward uh, war with the, the usual conventional weapons. It's also, you also have, um, financial wars. You have, um, uh, chemical wars. Now it's austral. It's, you're also into the sort of estrogen wars as well for long term. If you take a country on long term like Afghanistan that has been known to fight for generations, then you eliminate the future generations of warriors by making sure they're effeminate if they get born at all. This is standard, standard warfare purpose and, and techniques. So don't think for a minute that they haven't used it on society in general. They certainly have. And the effects are all around you. We are dealing with ruthless criminals. Ruthless who see themselves not as criminals, they see themselves as the most advanced species on the earth, a la Darwin, basically. And they believe they have the right to rule the lessers and do as they wish with the lessers, as Darwin himself uh, proposed. Quite something. 